Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Rainex, Hum by Verizon, State Farm, and WeatherTech. As the epicenter of our nation's government and a top tourist destination, Washington, D.C. has a lot of people moving around town. And just as more and more of them are choosing efficient, zero-emission personal transport, city officials saw an opportunity to improve their transit fleet as well. In the spring of 2018, the D.C. Department of Transportation, or DDOT, took delivery of 14 American-made Proterra battery electric buses, making it one of the largest electric bus fleets in the country. This purchase raises the bar again in DC's lead by example practice when it comes to mass transit. The DDOT EV bus fleet adds to the mix of clean fuels like CNG and advanced technology electric hybrid buses that are already serving riders in the neighboring bus fleets across the DC, Maryland, Virginia region. The DC circulator buses transport more than 4.8 million passengers each year and travel six routes around D.C. and into Virginia, stopping at popular monuments, museums, attractions, and transportation hubs along the way. Good morning. I'm good. Good morning. All right, I like those glasses. Welcome to the circulator. You must ring the bell when you hear your stop. For driver Natressa Jackson, switching from diesel to electric was seamless. It's a very smooth ride. It's a very quiet ride. In addition to being quieter, these electric buses provide riders with the benefits of free public Wi-Fi and USB charging for electronic devices, as well as informational displays for commuters and more powerful air conditioning. The energy and environmental impacts of the new electric bus fleet are impressive, displacing nearly 89,000 gallons of diesel per year and reducing CO2 emissions by a quarter million pounds. The Proterra buses are powered by four large battery packs under the floor. After charging overnight, the buses can operate for a full 10-hour shift. It is more upfront, but it's because it's um, newer technology. Typically, newer technology costs more. Um, but over time, we'll notice, um, or we're hoping to notice, reduced maintenance costs, which will uh, help us on the back end. So right now, we currently have 14 electric buses. Over the coming fiscal year, we hope to um, purchase an additional 18. And long term, we hope to have the entire electric fleet. Dozens of other cities around the country have reached the same conclusion and are investing in energy-efficient, zero-emission electric buses and service vehicles. And everywhere they hit the streets, these highly visible EV ambassadors are making an impact by raising awareness as well. We're having an EV revolution in the Washington, D.C. area. A lot of people are purchasing electric vehicles, and this is a first opportunity for others to see that the technology really works.